The key is what we do in our times of pain. Pain will change us. Heartache, loss, disappointments, they don't leave us the same. When I lost my father, I didn't come out like I was before. I was changed. If you go through a divorce, a legal battle, a friend betrays you, eventually that will pass. You'll get through it, but you will be different. Now, how the pain changes you is up to you. You can come out bitter or you can come out better. You can come out with a chip on your shoulder blaming God or you can come out stronger with a greater confidence in God. You can come out defeated, giving up on your dreams, or you can come out with a new passion, a new fire, excited about the new opportunities in front of you. All of us experience pain. My challenge, don't just go through it, grow through it. That difficulty is an opportunity to get stronger, to develop character, to gain new confidence. Anybody can give up. Anybody can let it overwhelm you. But you know what that's doing? Wasting your pain. That pain is not there to stop you. It's there to prepare you, to increase you, to develop you. I'm in control here. I'm not going to let this get me down. I'm not going to let this destroy me. I'm coming back. We live in a society where mediocrity is often rewarded. I wanted to be a man to detest mediocrity. I love to see people who were getting beat down and there's, there's, there's scenes, there's scenes that just drove me and people in my hell weeks, you know, I was in three of them, they'd always hear me singing these songs, these songs, humming these songs in torturous situations when you're, when everybody's quitting. I would be somewhere gone. This journey is going to take something that is going to be incomprehensible to most people. And these different visualizations, how I visualize them in my self-talk, it became so nasty and dirty that I almost liked the fact that I went 0.25. So it became from being defeated, you know, it just became this different mindset. I turned negatives into positives. Everybody has dreams. Nobody knows but you. You can't get advice on what you should do with your life, right? Nobody knows what you are. Even sometimes you don't really even know what you, what you are. You gotta take your shot and as much as you want people to agree and you want the people around you to be supporting your dreams, it's not gonna be like that all the time. You gotta do it alone. And people will help you when you get the ball rolling, people will jump on. But if you don't believe, nobody else is gonna believe. People come along because your belief is so insane. Following your dreams is a lonely, solitary, scary, dangerous pursuit. You can't wait for somebody to think you can do it. A life without pain is a life without challenge. And a life without challenge is a life without growth. So not only do I embrace the challenge, embrace the pain associated with challenge and growth, but I even look forward to it in many regards. Some people think I'm strange, but sometimes I even ask for it. Send me a challenge, God, that you think should rid the world of pain, I invoke, please, give me some challenges here because I need to be tested, I need to be stronger, I need to grow in my resolve with whatever weakness is in my character. Pain is a beautiful thing, challenge is what life is about. A life without challenge, a life without pain is a life without growth. And where there is no growth, there is stale, stagnant energy. And that's where most people live. Because most people's lives are designed around treading a path that is void of challenge. The minute they recognize challenge or pain, they move the other way. This is a primal instinct and normal and natural, but a weak perspective. They're not challenged, they're not growing, they're bored and they're better off dead. Your aliveness is found in your pain. Embrace it, love it, and grow from it. You have to believe you deserve to win. And sometimes it's not just that we think we're good, but that we've done so much, we must be worthy of winning. See, there's this adage in life, good people in life won't take more from the table of life than they think they're worthy of and they deserve. See, in business sometimes, short term, we've all seen this, 
Someone with bad intentions can get ahead short term. But you always reap what you sow. Karma is always a real thing. And eventually the people that take shortcuts, that cheat, that hurt other people, that have ill intent, the world, the universe, God sort of finds a way eventually to get them where they're supposed to be. But good people will never take more than they think they're worth, which is why the mandatory requirement for good people to win is they believe they deserve it. They believe they're worth winning. And sometimes it's not just who we are that we need to believe in, but what we've done in this sense.